Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel, and the wait is over, here we are, PGA Tour 2K21, and I just want to give a big shout out to HP and 2K, for giving me the review code so I can bring this content to you guys early. So, <clears throat> this is going to be just a, a short little video, we're going to go through the swing basics, the putting, the clubs, and shot types, and advanced shots, and then we'll have a quick look at the calibration, which is a new thing, and we'll go on to the, the difficulty settings, which is pretty good, there's a lot of choices out there. <laughs> it is really good. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's get started. Oh, what I was going to do, I was going to do a, a video with a, a what's and all type of thing. What I see for the first time, what you see for the first time. So I started it up last night, uh, got to the this bit, the training bit. It was all fine. The video was fine. And then I got disconnected and I was like, what the hell? So <clears throat> I went to start it back up. It wouldn't start back up. I was offline. Uh, it was Steam, something to do with Steam. Uh, shut down my computer, started it back up again. Uh, nothing wrong with the internet. I did internet speed checks. I was on th over 300 megabyte uh, download speed, 30 odd megabyte upload speed, and Steam just wouldn't start. Uh, so what I eventually did is I ended up going through YouTube and seeing if there was any problems. I looked at Steam servers, everything seemed to be running. Uh, I went into my taskbar and it was a bootstrap of 32 was running, which is the Steam.exe. It was running for some reason. <coughs> But Steam wasn't starting up. I shut that down and Steam started up. So what I did, I just jumped in, played a few rounds uh, just to make sure everything was all right. Got a bit carried away and did more rounds and more rounds. So <laughs> so we're going to go through it now because you would have had a laugh because some of it's counterintuitive to what you played on TGC 2019. Some of the buttons are different. Some of the way you, you control the ball and things like that are different. And it took me a little while to figure it out. And I was like, what the hell am I doing? So... We're going to go through it now. It's probably a bit better that I've um, played a few rounds. I'm more familiar with the controls now, so it'll be a lot better for you guys uh, to see how, how it plays out. So we're going to start off the swing basics. Now, I've got John turned on. He's going to do a bit of commentary uh, through this. <clears throat> so bear with me. Hello there, and welcome to PGA Tour 2K21. My name is John, and my job is to get you swinging that club like a pro in as little time as possible. Let's crack into it. Okay, John, here we go. To begin your swing, pull back on the swing stick. When your golfer's at the top of their backswing, press the swing stick forward. Give it a go. Now, you notice I pulled the right quite a bit here. I have to um, rotate my controller quite a bit. <clears throat> On TGG 2019, I was actually pulling to the left. After each shot, you will get feedback as to how accurate your shot was in the bottom right-hand corner. In the middle of that circle, there's a white stripe, and that is your swing plane, and that is where your swing needs to live. The more difficult the shot, the more narrow your swing plane will be, so pay attention out there. Now let's try another swing and keep it inside that white stripe. Now... I think the watch here is your swing plane, which is a white stripe right down the middle. And then you've got the two gray bars either side of the, the white stripe. That is your forgiveness bars. Now, they will come into play once you start going into the club selection. Uh, some club selections, like your drivers and that, will have a bit more distance on it. But they'll have less forgiveness and less swing plane. Or some will have just a little bit less distance, but they'll have more swing plane. So the, the white line will be wider. And a bit more forgiveness with so the gray will be bit wider as well so once you come out of the white lines and go into the forgiveness lines <clears throat> that's when you're going to start pulling left and pulling right and things like that uh, hooks and slices so let's try this again right oh come on oh there's a very slow there look at that Let's speed that up for you guys, <clears throat> just to go through this. Work on that one. And you're also going to receive feedback on your swing timing, and that's the meter that kind of wraps around the top of your swing accuracy indicator. Your backswing timing refers to the point at which you transition from backswing into downswing. If you do this too early, you're going to reduce the power of your shot. If you do it too late, you're going to add power, but increase the difficulty of the swing. Your downswing timing refers to how quickly you flick that swing stick forward. If your downswing is too fast, you'll hook it. And if it's too slow, you'll slice it. Let's try to get perfect timing on this next swing. Now, another thing uh, 
to look at here is with the swing on TGC 2019, uh, your tempo was your backswing and your downswing. <clears throat> they have now removed the tempo from the backswing. So the tempo is only included from the downswing. And what else they have included is haptic feedback with your controller. So your, your PS4s, your Xbox One X and PC. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, the Rumble. Uh, when the little white line starts coming up the power bar and getting to the white line where the 100% is, you'll start feeling the rumble. So eventually I'll probably turn this uh, power bar off, but I'm just sort of using it just now just to st uh, still get used to the game. So they've actually included haptic feedback into the game now as well uh, with the rumble. So let's hit another one. And that was a bit of a fast. As you see, I'm still struggling with the tempo. I mean, I'm only playing on pro at the moment. Uh, we'll get into that uh, once we've finished all this anyway. I'll, I'll tell you about that. <clears throat> Let's speed these up. Well, you've got that one down. Congratulations. You've got the basics down, Pat. Can't wait to see you use some of these lessons out on the course. Now, with the power bar at the bottom, <clears throat> you've got 100%. Then you've got the little red line at the end. That is your overswing. And once you go into the overswing, it gives you a bit of a extra distance, but it adds spin to the ball and a difficulty. Uh, in the swing as well. Uh, bonus tip, <clears throat> find a difficult preset uh, or create a custom difficulty that works for you in the difficulty settings menu. Uh, as I said, lesson, we're going to talk about one of the most important skills you can have at your disposal, and that is putting. We, we shall look at the difficulty settings. Pull back on the swing stick. The farther you pull back, the stronger your putt will be. The back swing meter at the bottom of your screen is going to give you a tart. Good job. That's what we're looking for. The putt weight is how hard you hit your putt. To set your putt weight, move the aim marker towards or away from you. The further away from you the marker is, the stronger your putt will be. Since this is a downhill putt, we'll want to ease up on our weight. So move your aim marker a little bit closer to you by pulling down on the aim stick and then... Have a go at this putt. Now, a lot of you guys know this anyway, but uh, just for the new guys who are coming into the channel well and on that lesson. <coughs> they haven't played TGC 2019. <coughs> telling us that your putt is going to break to the right, so you're going to have to aim to the left to compensate. Use the aim stick to make adjustments before putting so that you can drop this one in the hole. So that's the only reason I'm going for the tutorial. I want to show you everything, if you know what I mean. And especially for the new people. Because so I think you're going to get a lot of new people coming into the game now that 2K have been doing the market and stuff like that. Oh, missed that one. Not quite. Let's reset and try again. There we go. Good job on that one. And with that, you are ready to tear it up out there on the greens, metaphorically speaking, obviously. Hello and welcome to this lesson where we will talk about clubs and shot types. I am going to show you how to make the most of what's in your golf bag with a few simple tricks. Okay, so for this shot, you're hitting into the wind. This means you are going to have to club up, or in other words, use a longer club. So let's press the change club button until you get to the pitching wedge, then just pop this shot onto the green. Now, this is where things started to change from TGC 2019. Uh, your D-pad actually changes your club now. Uh, before it was uh, left bumper, right bumper. <clears throat> so up and down on the D-pad changes your clubs up and down. You've got a nice little carousel wheel there as well, if you look. It just goes through all your clubs for you. So he wants us to go up to the, the pitching wedge here. And we'll have a little look. 19 miles an hour wind in the face. Now you just got to get on the green here. Even though I hit a slow, it'll be on the green. Well, no need to linger on this lesson. Now it's only a matter of time before you find yourself in a situation where the normal shot type is just not going to do. Now to get on the green from here, you are going to need a chip shot. So let's press the change shot type button until you get to the chip shot and then chip that ball nice and close to the pin with your next stroke. Now again, on TGC 2019, it used to be the X button, the one on the left. I don't know what it is on the PlayStation 4. But again, this is with the D-pad. So it's left and right on the D-pad to change the shot type. 
So you've got pitch shot, a flop shot, splash shot, and there's a chip shot that he wants us to hit. Keep hitting a lot of slows. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Information about the current lie of your ball is available always in the top right corner of the screen. This will give you a range of how much spin and power your shot will retain, and then you can use that info to adjust your shot accordingly. For this particular situation, let's change our club to the sand wedge, and then change our shot type to a splash shot, which is a great shot for getting out of these greenside bunkers. After that, give that swing a go. See if you can stick it close. So again, up on the D-pad, uh, change the sand wedge, and then left and right, uh, we'll go for the splash shot. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Nice. We'll chalk that one up as a success. And now that you know a thing or two about shot types, I'd encourage you to keep on trucking with these lessons and get into some more advanced stuff. Keep on trucking. Here we go. Hello there and welcome to the lesson on advanced shots. In this lesson, we're going to learn about techniques you're going to want to master if you want to compete with the pros. Let's begin. In this situation, we are going to need to take a partial swing. If you chip this with full power, it's going to blow right by the hole. So we are going to have to move our aim marker closer to us to compensate. Move the aim marker a little bit closer to you. See if you can get about a 75% power chip and then use the back <coughs> swing meter at the bottom of your screen to dial in the proper strength for this chip. Now, as you know, uh, TGC 2019, TGC 2, TGC, the original game, it was pretty hard to do partial shots. Now with your power bar at the bottom here, uh, you can move it back and forwards to, to, to help you with the partial shots. And again, this is where the haptic feedback comes into play as well. If you don't want the power bar at the bottom, you can just sort of guess it with the, the, the rumble, if you know what I mean. Right. So he wants it at 75. Well, you've got the hang of this one. You're going to come across situations <coughs> like this one where you want to adjust the spin and loft of your shot. In this case, we want to land our shot on the green softly without a whole lot of roll. And for that, we need to add some backspin. Hold down the true shot button and move your aim stick down to increase your loft and backspin. And then have a go at this pin and see if you can land it nice and soft. And close. Now, this is where I started screwing up. Uh, it's a bit counterintuitive because on TGC 2019, uh, with a loft box, you would loft up to get spin and it would decrease uh, the distance and you would loft down to lower the trajectory and get a little bit more distance. But with this one, uh, you hit the LB button. <clears throat> now you see, you've got two there. You've got the left and you've got the right. So what I was doing I was, I was just thinking TGC 2019. So I was actually putting loft. I, I was thinking that was putting loft on it, but it's not. That's, that's, a, that's actually decreasing the loft or the, the, the spin, should I say, it actually decreases the spin. So it's actually, you have to hit, you have to bring it down and then on the right button, because I wasn't actually reading the text on the left here. So as you can see, oh, with the right button, you can also independently adjust your attack angle. So while in true shot mode, use R to hit up on the ball, minus spin. So you hit, put it up with less for less spin, and you pull it down for more spin. So if you bring the left and the right down, it's going to put a lot more spin on the ball. Yeah, it took me about five minutes to work that out because... Well <clears throat> Like I said, I wasn't reading the text. <laughs> to your golf shot is a great tool to have at your disposal. By holding down the true shot button and moving the aim stick to the left, you can apply a fade. By moving the aim stick right, you can apply a draw to the ball flight. To complete this lesson, apply a fade to your next shot and watch that ball curl gently back into the middle of the driving range. 
Now, the blue line here, they, they call it ProVision. <clears throat> and like I said, we'll get into it as well, but in the difficulty settings, you can actually change how it affects uh, your gameplay. I've got, well, in the training at the moment, I think everything's turned on on it. So what you do again is hold the left uh, button down on your controller and pull it over to the left and you'll get the fade. Pull it over to the right, you'll get the draw. And to be honest, the actual flight path is a, a lot better in 2K21 than it was in TGC 2019. A lot better. Okay, so we're going to put a big fade on it. Oops. Now, this happened to me earlier. What the hell? Oh, come back. There we go. I'll just see the ball turning. Yeah, the, the flight paths are a lot better on 2K21. It seems to go out a lot further. Good job. This is the end of the advanced shots tutorial. If you want to get even more advanced, you can always go to the profile menu and tweak your club selection in your golf bag. <coughs> Either way, it's going to take a lot of practice to get used to these advanced techniques. And I can't wait to see how your career progresses as you explore the game. Okay, we're going to have a quick look at the calibration now. Oh no, yep, hold on. Yep, we're going to have a look at the calibration. We'll turn back to here, swing calibration. Now this is a thing that's always been asked for and they never implemented it. They've now got it in 2K21. So take 10 full power swings to calibrate your swing. Try to be consistent with your swing timing to achieve optimal results. That's not too bad. That was a little bit fast. As you can see, it's pulling to the left there. Oh, I'll start. I'll speed through these. So this is a really good thing that has always been asked for. Again, a little bit fast. Pulling to the left again. So, oh, still fast. <laughs> I want to get one right down the middle. Now, this swing is, oh, it is so much faster than TGC 2019. <clears throat> like I said, I was playing this last night and then I did a video uh, on TGC 2019 and it was like playing in slow motion. It was unreal after, after playing this. That was a bit better. Still a little bit pulling to the left. But you can't tell if there's any wind, though. I don't think there is. There we go. That one's better. A lot better. And better still. Still pushing a little bit over to the left, that. And that one was a slow, as you see, pushing over to the right. I don't think I've hit one <laughs> straight down the middle yet. Yeah, like I said, I'm actually playing on pro level. And to me, there's actually six uh, set <coughs> uh, preset levels for difficulty. And even on pro level, I find it harder than master clubs. Okay, perfect downswing timing has been calibrated. Now let's just hit a couple just to see. I see there was wind there. I'm not sure if the wind was turned off or not. Oh, yeah, that was a fast. There we go. Perfect. Yep, the wind must have been on. I think I hit a couple of perfects and the wind pushed it. <laughs> right, I'm going to take you over to the swing and difficulty now. And we're going to have a look at that. <clears throat> uh, I think that's under settings. Yep. So we've got. Uh, oh, you've got a lot of um, you've got your cameras and your, your HUD um, presets and all this uh, kind of stuff as well. But we can get into that some other time. Uh, we're just going to go into the difficulty settings <clears throat> now. You see the big XP multiplier there. 
the harder you make it, the more XP you're going to make. And the more XP you're going to make, the quicker you're going to level up. The quicker you're going to level up, the more coins you're going to make. Well, as I said, there's six presets. You've got the beginner, and it's only 1.02 times um, multiplier. As you go up, it goes up higher and higher and higher. Now, I was talking to Doyle today. He said he tried Legend, and he couldn't hit under 80 on it. <laughs> I'm sticking at Pro at the moment. As I said, once I get a bit higher, uh, once I'm a bit, a bit more comfortable with it, I'll start turning things off and maybe jump up to the, the Master and things like that. But as you can see, it's... A lot of choices here, so many choices. And as at the top there, you can see as well primary, which is you. Then you got guess one, guess two, guess three. I, I suppose that you could probably set all the difficulties with the person, <coughs> the people you're playing against. And down here, as you see, if I turn off the swing timing, that'll go down. Then it'll start going up. Distance control me on button only, on percentage only, or off. It goes up and up. Now, what did I have? I just had it on. I think I had it on that. <clears throat> then you've got distance control assist uh, on. Limits to backswing based on intended distance, but adds the overswing zone to partial shots. Off allows for full backswing to be performed regardless of distance intent. Then you've got putt preview. I turn that off. I'm not interested in putt preview. Uh, your course at yardage. <clears throat> uh, with it on. It displays precise distances to the pin in the UI and enables the distance measurement cursor in the yardage book. Book only now. If you remember the overhead view in TGC 2019, now they've got another thing called your yardage book, and I'll show you that once we get into a, a round. Then you've got your Pro Vision. Now, these ones here, <coughs> all these Pro Vision ones, yeah? Your Pro Vision Wind, I've got turned off. Lie penalty, lie angle. Now, if you put the pro vision wind on, it'll actually tell you with the blue line uh, how the wind is going to affect your shot. Uh, same as lie penalty. If you're going to upslope, downslope, uh, uh, left to right slope, it'll actually show you with the blue line uh, where the arc is going to go with the, the slope that you're playing off. And uh, lie angle, elevation as well. Even the elevation up, like uh, higher greens, or you're hitting down onto a green. With that turned on, it will take into account how much you have to take off or add, whether you're going up or down. <coughs> uh, Provision True Shot. The effect of True Shot adjustments has on your shot is included in the visualizations of the trajectory and arc. So when you hit the LB button, you get your True Shot, so you can put the spin and all that on it. Uh, that will actually show you. I've got that turned on at the moment, but I'll probably turn that off eventually. But as I said, you can turn everything off or on. There's so many options, which is really, really good. So we just went through the training now. We've done the calibration. We've had a look at the difficulty presets, which I think is absolutely fantastic. They, they give us so many choices in difficulty presets. So I'm going to leave the video there. <clears throat> just a short little video. Next video up, I'm just going to jump through the my player customization. That's going to be another short little video, guys. And then we'll start getting into the game. We'll start we'll jump straight into the career mode, the PGA Tour career mode, and we'll start playing a couple of rounds on that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I think the game is a really good step in the right direction. I think they've done really, really well. And hope you like it. Watch the next one. Hit the like button. Comment down at the bottom. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I'll catch you again next time. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.